Hey y'all, it's Reagan. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that red button down below and join the family. If you don't know who I am, I'm Reagan. I go to the King's College in New York City and I post fashion, beauty, lifestyle, college, and some travel videos. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all my January favorites and I have a quite a few of things to share with y'all, so I'm really excited. So if you want to see what I've been loving this month, then keep watching. Every month, the categories of favorites kind of change. It just depends on what I've been really into. This month, I have beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and some song favorites. But I always start it with beauty, so that's what we're going to do today. I did not do a December favorites video, so some of these products I've been loving since the month of December, and they're still going strong, so of course I had to share them with y'all. The first favorite is lip products. I love lip products. Y'all should know that by now. And for Christmas, I got some Akali lip kits, and I was kind of skeptical at first. I didn't know if I was going to like them. I thought they were overhyped just because they were Kylie's brand. And I got two different colors for Christmas. I got this color, which is in the shade Angel in both the liquid lipstick and the lip liner. And then I also got the set of Candy K that's also a favorite, but it's in my bag somewhere. The formula is amazing. The lip liners, first of all, are seriously so creamy. The only thing I don't like is that sometimes they fall out like that. I don't know if you just saw that. And you have to kind of push it back in. It's kind of annoying. I'm afraid it's going to break on me. But other than that, I love the formula. And this color is beautiful. Angel. It's a little darker than Candy K. Candy K is a little of a softer, nudie pink color. And this is more of a mauve color. But the formula of the liquid lipstick is probably one of my favorite formulas I've ever tried. It's so thin, but yet it dries and is so pigmented. And it's not drying enough to where you feel like your lips are really crusty. Sometimes they feel like that, just depending on if my lips are actually really crusty because it's super cold outside here in New York and super dry. But I love them. I love the colors. I love the formulas. I will definitely be purchasing more because the two colors that I did get, I loved them. And I use them together and then I'll also sometimes mix them up. I can just use the lip liner as lipstick or I can just use the liquid lipstick. It lasts all day. I love them. I am actually really sad that it took me so long to try them. But if you've been wanting to try some Kylie lip kits, I highly recommend them. Especially in the color Angel and the color Candy K because those are really good. And I actually have Angel on my lips right now. I don't have the Angel lip liner. I have Max Soar lip liner and then I just put Angel on top. But I really like the color. I think it's like kind of a deeper mauve pink color but yet still really pretty. The next item that I'm going to share with y'all is a little sample size, but it only took this little thing right here to make me fall back in love with Becca's Champagne Pop. I've almost hit pan on it. I got it as a little like free gift, you know, with points you get at Sephora, and I'm going to have to go by the full size of it because I forgot just how much I loved this shade. It is such a pretty shade. I think it looks great on any skin tone. I wear this when I'm super fake tanned, and then I also wear it when I'm like not fake tanned at all, and I think it looks beautiful on both. I'm wearing it today. Look how like striking and stunning that is. It has just enough gold to it that it's not like super white and opaque and just kind of washes you out. It has enough color to it so it looks really natural and not harsh but it's not too gold to wear it wouldn't work for lighter skin tones. But I know this was like everyone's favorite and I used to really like it and then I just kind of stopped. I think it cracked, like my big size cracked on me and I just got annoyed with it. I never used it anymore because I was always afraid it was just gonna make a mess when I opened it. So I forgot about it, but I'm back on the Becca Champagne Pop Train. Another sample size product that I got. Sephora just had a lot of good sample kits that you could buy with your points and I never use my points ever because I never like stuff enough. But in December, I liked a lot of stuff that actually came in the same kit that the Champagne Pop Mini Becca Highlighter came in. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And yes, it's a little mini size too. But this thing is seriously so good. I never thought that I really had dark under eyes and that I needed, didn't need something like this. I was like, oh, concealer just do the trick for me. And then, I don't know if it was my eyeshadow or just like the weather and so my skin's like really pale and fragile and thin that I could really see like throughout the day where my makeup would kind of fade away that my eyes were really dark and it was kind of upsetting me and so I started using this and I think it makes such a big difference 
it just really makes you look so awake. Sometimes I'll even use this like when I'm going to the gym and I don't want to put any makeup on but I do just want to look more awake. So I'll put a little bit under my eyes and it is so, so nice. It's not super thick. I have heard that a lot of um, under eye things are too thick and so it just kind of weighs down that area. This one's not thick at all and it's like a really good tackiness to where your concealer and powder and foundation just lays really nicely on top of it. I don't use this every day. I just use it sometimes when I feel like I really need it or I know it's going to be a really long day or when I don't get enough sleep. I will probably end up buying the full size of this just because I think it's something that I need in my collection. I feel like I'm getting old because now I have to use stuff for my under eyes. It's crazy. I just really think it makes such a big difference, especially if you're someone who struggles with dark under eyes. Check out this little Becca under eye corrector because it's really good and the formula is also really nice. Now on to a brand that I discovered this month and I'm so excited that I did. I've been wanting to try them out for so long and I finally just like came across their store one day in Soho and I was like, I gotta stop. And it is Glossier. And the one thing that I've been wanting to try out from Glossier for so long is the Boy Brow Eyebrow Tint. And so that's what I really went in there to pick up. And it is just as good as everyone says, y'all. This is the best brow gel I think I've ever used. It really, like, makes your brows stay in place all day. Like, at the end of the night, they're still sticking straight up the way I want them to. This is in the brown shade, and it is just beautiful. It adds just a little bit of color to your eyebrows, so, like, it really fills in any sparse areas that you didn't fill in with your eyebrow pencil and just makes it look really smooth. And you can even wear this without any makeup, and it just really fills your eyebrows in and makes them pop. I just think it's amazing. It is very mini, so I know I'll be, like, going back to buy it multiple times because it's not going to last me for very long because I use it every day. And if you need an eyebrow gel, definitely check this one out. If you're serious about eyebrows, I'm serious about eyebrows. So this has been a lifesaver. I have it on right now. You can't like really tell how good it is, but it's good, you guys. I promise. And the last beauty product that I have to share with y'all that has been a favorite this month is also from Glossier. And it is the Glossier Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color in the color Beam. And it is this really, really pretty corally shade. I have never taken myself to be a liquid product kind of girl. Like, I don't use um, cream contour, and I've never used cream blush before. I just love powders. And so I got this, and I was like, I'm probably not going to like it. I'm probably not going to use it. I forced myself to use it one day, and I was just blown away by it. Okay, first of all, it goes on so easy and so smooth and just effortless. I just... Before I set my foundation with powder, I'll just put a little bit on my fingers and rub it in on my cheeks. And it... It just blends seamlessly and the color lasts all day y'all like I've always had a problem with my blush fading this stays all day long all day like you'll come home from like a full day of like work or class and your blush will look perfect it just is blowing my mind and so I am officially a cream blush kind of girl they have other shades they have a really pretty pink shade that I might get and also a pretty like nudie shade that I might get but right now this coral one I think is beautiful and I've actually really been into coral blush lately. I think it just really has been complimenting my skin. And so I'll use this and sometimes if I want a little extra or like set it and make sure it stays all day, I'll add a little bit of Max Mandarin blush on top and they just complement each other really well. But I do want to recommend this if you're a cream blush kind of girl or like it's just you want something very natural, Glossier cheek paints or amazing so that is all for my beauty favorites and now on to my fashion favorites i don't have too many but the ones that i do want to share i've really been into the first fashion item that i've been so obsessed with this month is these cute little gold hoops i know that hoops have been in a lot lately like they're really big ones and i've just never been a really big hoop kind of girl and so i picked up these little mini hoops from i think it was francesca's and I wear them almost every day. I just think they look so... You can't really see them. I just think they look so cute and dainty. But yet, you still look nice and fancy. And I just think they go with everything. They can go with like dressed up things. They can go with dressed down things. I think they look pretty when your hair is up. I just love them. I think they're not too much. They're not like, wow, in your face, I'm wearing these big giant hoops. They're just like subtle and feminine and dainty and I just love them. I These are probably my favorite earrings ever. I used to never be one of those girls who wore the same earrings every day. I'd like to mix it up but not with these. I seriously wear these every day unless there's like 
some a pair of earrings that I really want to wear with an outfit. Other than that, these are my go-to. And they were so inexpensive, I just got them at Francesca's. But I probably will eventually end up investing in like nice gold hoops since I realized that I wear these so much. And the next fashion favorite that I have really been into is pajamas. I used to be that girl who just wore big t-shirts to sleep. And I was like, oh, this is the comfiest thing. I'll never wear pajamas. And recently, I've just discovered how amazing and luxurious pajamas are. And for Christmas, my mom got me these silk Victoria's Secret ones. They're just red material and it says Victoria's Secret on it. And it is this button-up shirt and then it comes with a set of shorts. Oops. And I have been obsessed, y'all. They feel so good. I look forward to putting them on every night. I used to think I couldn't sleep in shorts or like pants, but these like don't even feel like shorts. They just, they're so short, so they're like not even, non, they're like non-existent. You can't even see them. And the shirt's oversized, so it just like covers your whole like butt down to like mid-thigh. And I just love them. I think they feel luxurious. I think they feel so much better than t-shirts now if I ever wear like a t-shirt to sleep for some reason. I hate it and I feel uncomfortable and like suffocated. These just feel silky smooth and they just make you feel like you're sleeping on a cloud. I'm now obsessed with pajamas and so I have found what my heart loves to sleep in. The next fashion favorite that I have been really into this month and also last month has been mom jeans. And I have been picking some up in my hauls and y'all have been seeing those and then on Instagram, follow me on my Instagram. I do post in my mom jeans every now and then. I do wear them like a good bit. I just don't take pictures in them all the time. But these are like two of my favorite pairs that I have right now. My favorite mom jeans are from American Eagle. I love American Eagle jeans. I think they fit so good. I think they're also so affordable. Jeans can get so expensive, like past $100. And I honestly think that's ridiculous. American Eagle jeans are really good. They have so many different styles, sizes, different stretches, lengths, all kinds of stuff. And they're always like $50 or below. And they're always having sales. So I really, really like American Eagle jeans. These were the first pair that really, these weren't my first pair that I got. But these were the first pair that really made me love them. And they're just this light wash. And then they have rips right at the knees. And then I got these in extra short because I thought that I needed them in extra short. And they're actually kind of like a little shorter than I want. I do wear them with like high ankle booties. So it kind of like covers up how much skin shows. But I think I would love these even more if they were in short. But I do still wear them a lot. They fit great. And then the next pair that's been my favorite, I just actually put these in my haul. So it's kind of not fair for me to share them because I legit just got them last week. But I'm going to anyways because I already know they're going to be a favorite. And the whole point of my favorite is like mom jeans not these in particular these are just my favorite right now and they have this really cool seam down the side it's kind of like a French seam and then they're a little darker wash than the other ones and then they have a raw hem so they're like really cool and edgy and also I got these in short so they do fit the length that I want them to fit and they're just like really cool and I think they spice up an outfit I used to be one of those girls who would spice up my outfits by the shoes or by the top that I was wearing or jewelry and now I'm starting to realize that like pants do make a statement and they've like become back a thing where you wear funky pants to really bring out your outfit instead of just like basic jeans, basic skinny jeans. Mom jeans are making a comeback guys so if you're not on that mom jean train yet you need to jump on it. And that is it for my fashion favorites. Now on to lifestyle favorites. So a lifestyle favorite that I've been loving this month is also something that I got for Christmas and it is my clapper light. It is plugged in right now so I can't show y'all but I will insert a picture right here. My mom got it off Amazon for me for Christmas and it's just been amazing and it's so fun and so cool to do so I'm going to do it for you real quick. It's connected to the lights that are behind me on my bed and also my lamp on the other side of my bed. So you ready? Isn't that so cool? Boom. I think it's so amazing. It's just like so fun and handy. I don't have to crawl across my bed to cut my lamp on anymore. And then I can just clap my lights off when I'm ready to go to bed. It's been the most amazing thing. I absolutely love it. And it was like not expensive at all. And I just think it's like really fun. And like something cool and different to have in your room. So if you've always wanted to be able to clap your lights on and off definitely get the little clapper. I'll have it linked down below. And the next lifestyle favorite that I've just been loving this month is tea. And I've always been a coffee girl, but for some reason I was just like, you know, I want to get into tea. And so I bought some teas and I like tried a few teas and I 
wasn't crazy about them at first, but they grew on me and I just started looking forward to like making me a warm cup of tea and it would just make me feel all good and it was like a good way to wind down at night because a lot of the teas that I use don't have caffeine in them and they're just something different than water. You know, I only really drink water here at my apartment and so it's nice to like have something to mix it up. So I'm going to share a few of my favorite teas with y'all. The first one that like really got me started on liking teas was this Moroccan mint, refreshing a sweet mint tea. And it is so good. It's not pepperminty at all. It has a little bit of like that earthy mint flavor, but then it also has this little sweetness to it. And I just really like it. It's very calming at night. And it's so easy to drink. Like the flavor's good. It's Tea has like a very mild flavor and you can kind of control how strong your flavor is by how long you leave it in the water. So if you like it more watery, then only leave your tea bag in there for a little while. And then if you like it like stronger, then just leave your tea bag in there for a long time. My next favorite is just like an all around tea favorite and it is some green tea. I love green tea. I don't drink this at night because it does have caffeine in it, but it's so good for your metabolism and it's kind of like a good alternative to coffee. If you've already drinking a cup of coffee one morning and you just need a pick-me-up but you don't want to drink another cup of coffee, green tea is really good for that. It gets your metabolism going. It gives you some energy because it has caffeine in it, but it's also really good. I love the taste of it. I think it's very earthy and just refreshing. And I also love green tea cold. I think green tea cold is like so, so good. The other teas aren't as good cold, but green tea is really, really good cold, especially if you put a little bit of sugar in it or a little bit of honey in it, and then it's like sweet tea for all my southern friends and then my last favorite tea I actually just recently discovered because I was sick and so I picked this one up at Trader Joe's and it is the ginger turmeric herbal tea it is so good it really does make you feel better ginger is good at like settling your stomach and then turmeric is just overall like a superfood it's just supposed to have so many health benefits and it also is a kind of sweet so it's just like something good to drink at night when you kind of have a sweet tooth and you don't want to eat and you also just want something warm because it's cold outside. This one's really good. I love it. It's been one of my favorites and I love the color it turns the tea. It turns the tea like a really pretty yellow color and so I've really been liking this one. But yeah, I'm officially a tea girl and it's weird because like no one drinks hot tea in South Carolina. It's definitely like a New York thing. And so it, it's just so funny to see how New York has changed me so much to like the things that I do now that I would have never done back in South Carolina. And my last two favorites that I have to share with y'all are two song favorites. I have seriously been loving these songs this month and I listen to them all the time, especially when I need a little pick me up because they're both pretty like upbeat songs. The first one is Wow by Post Malone. Y'all that song is amazing. And I love Post Malone. I've always loved Post Malone. And so it's just so good. And every time Post Malone drops something like good, I just want to support him and love him. He is awesome. I just love his personality. And so if you haven't heard the song Wow, go listen to it. And the last song is Seven Rings by Arna Grande. At first I was like, this sounds like a Christmas song. And this also sounds like Pretty Boy Swag. But it grew on me. Ariana Grande has been dropping some really good songs lately and this one is one of them. It's just so upbeat and just like empowering. That's pretty much all Ariana Grande is. She just like loves to empower women and herself and so I love it. It makes me feel confident and just good about myself. So if you haven't heard Seven Rings, go listen to that one. I'll have them linked down below so y'all can check them out. But they're both really, really good and if you need some good music, Go listen to those songs. That is it for my January 2019 favorites. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And then leave me a comment down below telling me what something was that you loved this month because I'd love to try some new things out for February. So if you have anything to share, please let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video, guys. Bye.